Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I do post a couple different videos each week. I do local reviews, cleaning videos. In today's video, I'm gonna go over just uh, Cloth Diapers 101. So I'm gonna show you just the basic, basic, basic information that you need to know to get started with cloth diapers for your baby today. So cloth diapers, they've come a long way, right? I recently made a different video that I'll link above that you can check out that just kind of goes through a quick rendition of our routine. And, but this in this video today, I want to go over a detailed version as to like what cloth diapers are, strip it all the way down to the basics of what you need to know to get started. So check the other video out after this one, and we'll get started on kind of where everything starts. So the way cloth diapers work is there's different types. These are called pocket diapers. The reason why they're called pocket diapers is because there's a little pocket in the back here. Okay, so this is your diaper. It opens up, there's a pocket here, and you have inserts that go into this diaper. Now the inserts are what captures the liquids and the, the poos. Um, so you are gonna have to use some type of insert for your cloth diapers. All right, so the same way a disposable works, right? You've got your gussets here, and then your flaps on the top, and then these Velcro, right? Okay, so we've, we've seen paper diapers. Same thing here, but we have snaps. So the snaps work at, as an advantage to you because what we can do is change the size of these diapers as your baby grows. There's a bunch of different inserts, and this is where you kind of have to find what works best for your baby, okay? Most of your cloth diapers, when you purchase them, they're gonna come with microfiber inserts. Now these are great to start with, but unfortunately for our son, they don't hold enough liquid and they just don't stand up to holding his um, urine, okay, or the amount of. So if we were to use these on a daily basis, we would pretty much generally have to change him every hour before we would start having compression leaks. Now a compression leak is basically if your baby has a diaper on and it's soiled or it's wet, then when he sits down and there's that compression, then you're going to have leaks out of the gussets, okay? Usually that's going to come out in the leg area. So you'll see that like the onesie would be wet. Okay, so we don't want that. So what you want to do is find an insert that works for your baby. What works for us are these bamboo inserts, okay? Now these are from, this one's called Love My. Um, I'll link these below, but they're all the same. We actually um, also have some Alva Baby ones, and I would recommend those. So these bamboo inserts work really, really well, and they're just much more absorbent. There's also some hemp inserts. Um, I'm trying to think of what some other ones are, but you just kind of have to experiment. Um, but these completely work for us. One thing to know is you never want to put microfiber on your baby's skin. Okay, so this insert is actually inside the diaper, see? So what you don't want to do is have your diaper here, it's empty, okay, there's nothing in here. You don't want to put your microfiber insert like this and then put this on your baby. That's not how they're supposed to work, okay? Plus, if you put microfiber on your baby's skin, it's going to really dry their skin out because that's the whole point of these is to draw that liquid. So if it's on top of their skin or reaching their skin, then it's going to pull the liquid or the moisture out of their skin. Okay, so you don't want to cause any rashes or anything like that. Now, the way you stuff your diaper, and this just kind of depends on you and what you're comfortable with, but I usually have the cloth or the inside pointed down or towards me, and I hold the insert like this. And I just kind of start working my, my hand in here hold it and so now I've got it kind of flipped over my hand turn it around a little here so I've just got it kind of worked over my hand here all right and then I have still got it in my hand on the inside and so what I'm doing on the inside is I've kind of opened my fingers up like this so I've got my thumb here and so I'm trying to hold on to the corners essentially so now I'm going to close my hand back up a little bit all right Start over, whoop, got the cloth like this. 
All right. Oh, we gotta start over here. Okay, so the cloth towards me, I'm gonna work my hand in here, all right? Fold it over, so now the cloth is facing the top. Now I've opened my fingers up a little bit on the edges like I showed you before. And I'm gonna hold on here where the elastic is, and I'm just gonna pull. I'm gonna pull it this way, okay? Now, this is really important to align this correctly because if you don't, you're gonna have a bunch of wrinkles on the inside of your diaper. It's not gonna be comfortable for baby and it could cause leaks, okay? So I've still got my hand in here. What I'm gonna do is kind of work that insert up to this top line here, okay? So there's like a little hem. So I'm gonna use my fingers to kind of push that whole flat part of the insert and then I'm gonna grab it with this hand, and then I'm gonna kinda work my hand. I've kinda opened my hand on the inside here. All right, so I'm gonna kinda work my hand down and through this diaper, making it flat, all right? And then once I get to the bottom, I can pull it a little bit. And then what I do, because you're still gonna have some wrinkles, is I'm gonna kinda place it on my knee here, and I usually just do this on the floor, but and I'm just gonna kind of get my hand back in here and then just flatten it out, give it a little shake this way, okay? And now I'm kind of doing this, you know, different on video, so it doesn't normally take this long, but, so now you've got your flat insert, okay? And then I just kind of jab this inside here, fold it, and then the way we store them is just upside down in a little drawer. So then what you can do is just directly grab this out Put this right on your baby, and it's completely flat on the inside. All right. So that's how to stuff your diapers. Now this is what we call a double stuff. Okay, so this diaper, and we've kind of color coded. We have a couple diapers that are black, so or that are designs that are dark with a little bit more black coloring on them. We've just designated those as the nighttime diapers. My mom actually came up with that. Um, so it's kind of brilliant just because you always know which diapers are the nighttime diapers. So this one is double stuffed. Okay, so there's, here's the pocket, all right? And then there's one insert here, and then another insert right here, all right? The purpose of the double stuff is for nighttime. So our baby is almost eight months old, and he still wakes up a couple times in the night. And if we don't change him at least once during that nighttime, then his diaper by the time morning rolls around will be completely soiled, okay? And if when, when we go to pick him up and he's in our arms, then we will have some leakage coming through. So what we normally do is when he wakes up at generally around three or four, then we will change him immediately and uh, just put him in a new double stuffed diaper. So. And this is just getting to know your baby. I know that he doesn't necessarily urinate very much from the hours of six to midnight when he, because usually he goes to sleep around six. And when we are, to, when we've changed his diapers around midnight, he doesn't normally have a very soiled diaper. So I know that he's not using the bathroom or going potty um, a lot during those hours, but because he still breastfeeds overnight, then he has a lot more urine in the morning from the hours of like four to seven. I generally have to change him a couple different times, usually at least twice, okay, in that time period. So the double stuffs are what we use at night. If you couldn't tell, I do have one of those bamboo inserts, and then I also have one of those microfiber inserts. So this is where I'm using those microfiber inserts. Usually we stuff about two or three of these, maybe sometimes four of these will be double stuffed at any given time, and that will be for two nights, okay? All of our other diapers are just single stuff because he goes through more of those. Now I strongly suggest if you have a newborn or when you do have your newborn, to use the disposable diapers, the newborn diapers. The reason being is because, and this is not a newborn diaper, but they'll have a a very convenient line right here that will tell you when they've gone to the bathroom and that for me especially as a first-time mom was so so important and so convenient because we had to track how often he was going to the bathroom okay so 
whether he peed or pooed, we had to mark that down or we didn't have to, but it was suggested that we keep track of that to make sure that he was getting the needs um, for breastfeeding, okay? That he was getting the, the liquids that he needed. You don't have that convenient line with these cloth diapers, so it's a little harder to figure out, does my baby need to be changed? Is he wet? So all I can say is sometimes if you feel um, their diaper here, it could feel like a wet rag. Um, you could change them then. But to be honest, our philosophy is just every two hours or so, we will change him, okay? Sometimes it'll be a little bit more often, um, and sometimes he can go a little bit longer. You can see I have some Tide over here. I have posted a detailed wash routine for Arizona water. Um, because we are located in Arizona, I wanted to go over a detailed wash routine for you, so I'll link that below as well. All right, but we just used uh, Tide Original. We've gone through a couple different detergents. You just have to kind of find which one works for you. There's a lot of different opinions out there as to what will work, uh, but this is what works for us, so that's what we suggest. You will need a wet bag. This is a wet bag here, okay? The outside is just kind of cloth feeling, and the inside has this protective coating on it so that liquid does not um, go through this. It does not leak through, okay? Now, do not put these in the dryer, okay? <laughs> this will not be good. We actually had two uh, much cooler looking wet bags before, but I accidentally put those in the dryer and it ruined the inside lining. And so I tried to continue to use those, but they leaked through. Okay, so you will need, I would suggest getting two wet bags. So that way when one is in the wash and hanging to dry, you have another one to put your cloth diapers that you're using for that day into that bag. Okay, so I'm gonna try to show you the fit here that you're looking for. I do have a very busy baby here, but. So these are the leg gussets. As you can see, it is tied against his skin. It is a little red here, but that's just because he has, well, something pressing on his leg, okay? If you do have red or irritation and it doesn't go away about a minute after you've taken the diaper off, then it's too tight. If it does go away naturally, then you're just fine, okay? You do need that to be tight, so you do have that connection so there's no leaks, okay? So here he is just sitting down with the diaper on, all right? So I can pull this away. Again, there's no marks here. All right, so can you lay down, baby? Lay down for mama. Eric. All right, so back to the legs. Now I currently have him on the snap. There's one, two, and then three. And then there's a fourth snap here. So we have him on the third snap. So I can run my fingers through here, okay, and it's not super tight, but it fits. I have that connection where the diaper is fitting his leg, okay? So as he's kind of rolling up here, you can see there's no gaps or spaces, all right? So there's constant connection with the diaper on his skin, but again, it's not so tight that it's cutting off his circulation, obviously. Okay. Now the way that you get this fit is the hip snap. All right, so that is this second row here. This, these snaps here, you can snap these for the fit to make them taller here. All right, so you wanna keep this just under his belly button, under your baby's belly button. All right, and then these snaps here, hold on baby. These, this top row of snaps here, that is for the waist. So there's two, one, two. Oh, I un unsnapped his hip snap. So I've got him on the three, the three out, all right? And then you wanna snap your hip snap one, and then, sorry, your waist snap one, and waist snap two, okay? And then I'm going to snap this back and let my baby get up before he gets too cranky here. Now our baby is almost eight months old and I've just unsnapped this diaper completely as it comes. So when you buy this diaper, it will come completely unsnapped and that's what this looks like. 
All right. So you can see here, if I were to pull up, he has got all this room. This is an example of not a good fit. If, if I were to pull his legs up here, and as you can see here, there's so much room here, okay? So much room. This is, you're gonna have crazy amounts of leak issues, all right? Not just compression leaks, but leak leaks, all right? Now when he sits down here, Okay, so if I were to pull on this, I mean, he's got all kinds of gaps here. This is what you do not want. The other thing I do want to shout out, and I do have my son behind me here, <laughs> helping out, um, is Alba Baby and other brands do put out swim diapers. Um, so these are just reusable swim diapers. So I've used these a couple times and they've worked really, really well. So I definitely recommend those. So I hope this video helped kind of break down a little bit more basic information about cloth diapers. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, like I said, I'll email, I'll leave my email in the description below. Say thanks for joining. We hope this helped. Yay! Please subscribe if you liked these videos and we'll see you next time. Bye!